Hello, 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 everybody here, Dr. Wawile again, talking about different topics and sorry, remember guys that we create and design this podcast to let everybody know about Harvard University and the magazine of Harvard Medical School. You can also visit our official website, which is magazine.hml.harvard.edu. You will be able to browse thousands of thousands of articles by issue and by topic. You will be asking Dr. Wawile which topics, research, community, education, care delivery, hours, and achievements. The article to review today is Unblanking Eye. The filmmaking team use usual narrative to tell stories that allow for understanding and humanity. Each day, social and justice such as poverty, poor access of healthcare and education, food and secure, and violence of preventable death of parents and children come from people marginalized by society and relicting exposure to such social traumas frequently inflict the psychology arm. Alright guys, remember the title of the article, The Unblanking Eye. I will continue doing this review straight away. For decades, Joe and Michelle Stevenson have been roughing visual narrative to not only expose such art but war to counter it. They do this by presenting candid narrative of socioeconomic oppression and injustice experienced by people and communities of color. They clear eye often lyrics storyline portrays people who live with past and present injustice daily, yet draw up in their personal strength, culture, and community to preserve and challenge assumptions. Brewster and Steve Stone World has been prized essentially an air national and international award. For instance, the documentary American Promise of Coming and Age of a Story of Two Black Boys, one of them their eldest son during the year at Elite, predominantly white school in New York City, aired then the United States Documentary Special Jury Award for Achievement in Filmmaking at 2013 Sunday Film Festival. To outreach campaign they developed for that field won the 2014 Brick Dog Impact Award for the campaign significant achievement, including inspiring a nationwide movement among parents of color to consolidate their voices and work with their local schools and also the issues of race, class, gender, parenting, and educational opportunity. In 2021, they produced The Changing Same, a magical, realistic, insective world addressing racial trauma, which received the Tribeca Film Festival Grand Jury Award for Best Immersive Narrative. Early this year, a couple gained a claim for going to Mars, the Nikki project by hybrid documentary celebrating during influence at Paul, artist and social commentor, it earned a grand jury prize at the United States Documentary at Science. Brewster, who trained as social psychiatrist at Harvard Medical School and Stanford University, and Stevenson, who graduated from Columbia Law School and at Hill University, brought their expertise in medicine law and started a conversation with Harvard Medicine Magazine. What followed is an edited version of this conversation. So, magazine asked, your field company is named Rada Studios. What does Rada stand for? So, Stevenson said, Rada goes back to IT and in root, I was born in IT, and when we were founding the company, we want to honor our African ancestors. There are two main constellations of spirit in both religion, the more 50 revolutionary spirit that comes out of the revolutionary struggle of IT and rather the wise and creative spirits that link directly to Africa in them, their inspiration and how they envision life. Sometimes their spirits are in conflict, other times in conversation. Our logo is take on Kodras where you met the spirits and see their advice and guidance in this process of storling. Harvard Medicine asks, 
What is about storying what is compelling? Stevenson answered, Storying is what makes us human. It reflects our common humanity and helps us keep on humanity. A story has power. That's why we're so much conflict around whose story are going to dominate. To follow some stories to dominate strict other their humanity and live experience. If we don't have common understanding of a story, of our own story, society, or communities, there cannot be a common understanding of legacy of the story and how it continues to affect us today. There can be a common coexisting that really starts with a better mutual understanding of a story that is not only truthful but everybody believes in. It's about re-examining history, building a new narrative and true narrative that allows for humanity and reimagine how we relate to each other systematically and individually. Harvard Medical Magazine asks, Were there a pivotal movement when you realized you could use a field to heal? Brister answered, During my residence, I want to learn about therapy from a vantage point of a patient. I contract with a psychoanalyst in Brooklyn, Massachusetts. I remember he lived in a castle. It was a beautiful home. One day I left it's my home office. I was waiting in his driveway to my friend. As I wait, I noticed a police car when another, then another, until I realized I was surrounded by six police cars. They want to know what I saw in at the neighborhood. I was so incensed, I refused to speak of them. I felt my head was about to explode. My therapist, who was white, came and used his authority in his skin color so touched me for him. I left in my pain. I sighed after me a week and my therapist was not able to discuss with less my power dynamics of what happened. He was one of better trained analysts in Boston and yet he could not unpack the issues with me to help my heal. So too often these difficult conversations are not hard. My experience working with other psychiatrists is that we are blind to the importance of work that we do. I found Phil provide a conscientious acknowledgement of my dilemma and live experience and I could provide hope and other that a conscientious expression of our life experience I need can be shared of one step toward healing. Our film began in going some work and going accusing and colleagues with my psychiatrics and not doing, looking at race and class and dressing a systematic struggle of characters and communities of color we represent. Harvard Medical Magazine asks, what are some of the ways you were encountered trials that might be harmful of people of color? Brewster answers, let me count the ways. We did a 20 episodes online series of World Channel and PBS where we examined mental health issues and how communities of color were going back to their roots and claim methods and healing themselves and dealing with generational trauma. We look at indigenous communities in Montana and South Dakota and Asian communities in South of California. The experience was religion for us. We had the sense that was trauma. We would find but the degree in which it remained significant. It went back generations and people were aware of it. Harvard Medical Magazine asks, your 2013 documentary American Promise told a story that moved audience. Could you talk a little about what happened following the release of the film? And British answered, that film had an unimaginable effect of people nationwide. It followed our sons and his friends through the education and elite school in New York City and candidly showed struggles of them. A smart, confident, and loved children went through just being back boys within a predominantly white 
high school, we intentionally call the American Promise because we want to make bold statement that our kids are an integral part of the country fabric. People were inspired by the film. There were thousands of folks who basically changed their life based on the film. They formed party groups to focus the achievement greater equity and more agency for people of color and school, both public and private. All I can say is that the film was an important of psychiatry for many individuals and group sessions were born and supported by the film. Harvard Medical Magazine asked, and you follow a book, Promise Cat? Brester answered, you did the making of the film, Mitchell and I visit Alkin Posen, who had the founding director of the Office of Recruitment and Multicultural Affairs at Harvard Medical School. We talked with him about the reaction of the documentary was already received before it released. Black parents from all over the country were calling us to find out when the film will be coming out. He suggests we write a book because what you described of our son of American Promise was also being experienced by black professor at Harvard. Promise Get was published in 2014. Harvard Medical Magazine asking with touch of Harvard Medical School, did you have mentor while you were a student here? So Brester answered, I was encouraged by many people. The first day I walked into my clean hospital as a resident, I told them I was interested in social psychiatry. I was aware that was not the area they explored, but Steve Fravor, the hospital chief of service, he said he wanted to have a mentor who looked like me. He asked me to chef peers at black psychiatrics. I met the peers quickly. I have to get up at 4.30 a.m. to work with meetings into my schedule, but I did inspire me to move forward with my interest in social psychiatric. Harvard Medical Magazine asked, before we end, I wonder where you worry about the affects of images of violence prepared on people of color captured on body cams or smartphones and shared with widely? Are these visual, so different from the field you produce, adding to the conversation or doing more damage? Stevenson answered, visual storytelling can influence people to take action of their ten ways. I would say that narrative, violence, and otherwise open the window into life experience, but it's up to us as people to engage with history and decide how to move with it. All right, guys remember this article the title is the unblanking eye and this has been wrote by Annie Marie the beating is the editor of the Harvard Medicine Magazine you are very welcome to visit our official website which is magazine.hms.harvard.edu see you next time bye bye